In the freeways, it's looking good. No major... You touch it again and you lose the finger. It's not too late to turn back. Forget it. I'm gonna be wearing overalls and picking my teeth with straw. <laughs> hey, I've seen Hee Haw. And now you're gonna live it. every day. I think she's nice. Are you going over? Are you kidding? I've been cooking all day. What are you bringing? What do you think? Hey. You, uh, moving in? Uh, yeah. I live up the street. Great. Well, I'm kind of busy, so... Look, this, this wasn't my idea, right? You know, my mother sent me down here and stuff. Joe Dooley. Tim Seaver. You play football? I haven't had much time lately. Why? Welcome to Deerview. We're, We're glad, glad you're here. Wow. All this from a can of tuna? Right here. No, you got to go up higher. It's too low. That's too high. Take it down a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right in the middle. That, up a little. There, there. I like it there. Straighten it out. That's good. That's good. You Everyone around here is weird. Oh, they're just trying to be friendly. Well, they're not my friends. My friends live 500 miles away. Did you ever see Invasion of the Body Snatchers? They were friendly, too. Nice, friendly pods. Yeah, well, they do have that certain game show contestant glow about them. Are you sure you don't want any help? No, if your dad can do it, I can do it, too. All I gotta do is just stick this right in here. Aces, Nats. Shut up! What is that? 
Uh, some people call it lunch. I don't know. It's a concept. You haven't made lunch since I was 10. Is that a casserole sandwich? That's tuna, isn't it? Is that what you're wearing? Is that what you're wearing? Bag the earring. Let's go. Yeah? No, I mean, no, it's Nancy. The company said you'd be here, and here you are. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm Sheila Evans. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'll get us some coffee. Great. Oh, oh, come here. This is your office. Oh, I see they gave me the executive suite. <laughs> and which hemisphere is that, Christine? Um, the southern hemisphere? Oh, hi. You must be Tim. Class, this is Tim Seaver, our new student. Everyone make him feel welcome. Thank so, you. um, you're from L.A.? Yeah. Have you been with the company long? Well, rounding it out, roughly a week. <laughs> yeah, the company sent me right here, right after the training course. This is the first job I've had in, like, 15 or 16 years. Wow. How long have you been here? Uh, seven years. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. But, I'm, but I'm, I'm just a receptionist. Um, anyway, uh, uh, I went through the multiple listings, and I typed up everything that's on the market. Now, that includes things that are in escrow, and I also noted how long each house has been for sale. Man, this must be a typo. 478 days. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That should be 578 days. Just lovely. Well, I was thinking about painting the living room black. What do you think? I was kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> well, I hope you don't think we're too pushy dropping in like this. Sheila's told us so much about you. <laughs> well, not so much. I mean, we know you're from Los Angeles. Your son goes to Deerview. You're a widow. But it's the little things that make a neighborhood. You know, like what kind of hobbies you have, the kind of food you eat, how your husband died. Not that's any of our business. No, of course not. Kitchen, I'm real thirsty. So, uh, Lori's the shy one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Hill across the street's a widow, too. You meet her yet? Oh, yeah, we did that widow secret handshake thing. You're kidding again, right? You caught me with my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we came here for another reason, didn't we? to invite Nancy to the pep rally. Oh, that's right. You do like football, don't you? Mm. You see, our sons play junior varsity. Well, to be honest with you, uh, football's not my thing. Oh, really? And what is? Well, if you're talking serious entertainment value, then I'd have to say access cable. You know, it's on all the time. You want to know my favorite? OK. It's that Priestess of Love show, you know? I swear to God, this broad sits there and she tells you 400 ways how to boink your man, you know? She's got this really bizarre green eyeshadow on this tube top thing. You can't help but love her. <laughs> so, 
you let us know. Oh, we would love for you to come. Oh, well, thank you. Um, listen, I've got to get some homeowner's insurance. Where would I go? <laughs> Only one agent in town. Ann Badowski. We can add flood, tornado, infestation, and of course, mysterious disappearance coverage. Oh, for those unexpected UFO visitations. Well, whatever you got, I want it in the economy size, see, because I'm kind of living on a limited budget. You know, we should rethink that earthquake insurance. A 7.5 shaker could annihilate your home. Well, I like annihilation, you know? It's like my favorite form of destruction. All right, then. Uh, who do we want to name as beneficiary? Um... We do know the meaning of beneficiary. Yes, we. I do. I happen to be one. My husband died about a year ago. Me too. I'm single, I mean. Divorced. Kids? A son. Deerview High? Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. Boy, are you lucky that you came in here today. I did happen to mention that I'm president of the PTA, didn't I? Now, here is a schedule of our activities. You'll note the asterisks. Those are the combined meetings with the Booster Club, which I'm also the president. It's my sister, Betsy. It's pitiful, ain't it? Thank you, girl. Thank you. Let's hear it for the Dear View cheerleaders. And now, without further ado, I would like to present to you your coach, Coach Jimmy Cox. Mark. Well, here we are. Another season. Another championship season. Boy, football is kind of a big deal around here, isn't it? The biggest. We got a bunch of tough, smart, good boys. And with your help, heck, we can do anything. Football isn't just a sport, it's life itself. The fumbles, the interceptions, the touchdowns, we live them day to day. I am Not. reminded of a quote from an old coach of mine who told me, Jimmy, oh. the man who said winning isn't everything was a weenie. Scale of one to 10, how hurt can he get? Coach Cox can answer all your questions. Hey, there's your boy over there with the blockers. Hi, Timmy. 
Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, this is Mrs. Seaver, Tim's mom. This is Coach Cox. How do you do? Hi. Now, she's a little concerned yeah, about the... Yeah, I just uh, want to know, if he's going to play, he's not going to get ripped into thousands of pieces, is he? <laughs> now, I can assure you that Coach Cox plays a safe game. Uh, excuse me, Howie. I play the way we need to play. I know that, but... No. You wouldn't want to tell me how to run this team, would you? Of course not. Good. Good. Uh, maybe this isn't a good time. Oh, no, no. no don't go running off. Actually, we've been like this for years. We used to play against each other. Oh, you played football? You didn't tell her about 76? I guess it never came up. <laughs> oh, see, it was county championship game, 1976. Howie here is this big deal player. College scouts coming to see him play. Where were they from again? USC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Houster's QB at Deerview. Me, defensive end, Lincoln High. I knew there's only one way we're going to win that game. Get Peterman. So two minutes left in the first half. Deerview's third and goal at the seven. I knew how he was going to fake left. So he faked left. And who do you think he found on his right? You? Oh! <laughs> it was beautiful. Sacked and out. <laughs> of course, uh, I never meant to break your leg like that. But we won the game. And that's all that's important. Down, you bet. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for sharing. I feel much better now. Me too. <laughs> Devil score. Touchdown. Six score. Devil score. Touchdown. Hey, Dooley. Coach wants you. It's about the fathers and sons game. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, my dad's already starting to do sit ups and stuff. Well, they have to. They're so old. Yeah. 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 I thought you were at the Dooley's. Guess I was wrong. Are you okay? It's tired. Did you do your homework? Yeah. Geometry? I said yes. Well, do you want to go make an ice cream run? No. No? You know, the echo's getting worse in here. Hey. What's going on? Nothing. Well, something's bugging you. Why? Because I don't want ice cream? Is it school? Why are you doing this? Is it your friends? Stop! I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong. You want to know what's wrong? What's right? We moved from home. I hate my English teacher. You ask me 4,000 questions a day, and there's a father-son's football game coming up. Oh, Tim. You want to help? Give me back our old life. My old friends. Give me back my dad. I wish I could. You all know how important the father-son game is to the school as a fundraiser. So, I hope all you fathers out there are getting in shape so you can beat the sons this year. <laughs> Mr. Harris assures me that his broken ankle has healed and he is ready to go full steam ahead. And any of you moms out there who want to bake for the bake sale, the sign-up sheet's up here. Let me brownies. You know how our men are. They love their chocolate. <laughs> you know, and baking is something that any of us can do, even us single gals. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the man who's going to lead your sons to another glorious game. What'd I miss? The bake sale. Hey, what's with the jacket? What, is it too much? Well, not for Annie Oakley. Thank you, Mrs. Badowski. So, we're all looking forward to that game, aren't we, Dad? Yes. <laughs> You men know we play for fun, just for laughs. Hey, with nine guys on a side, you get plenty of rest for substitutions. But seriously, there is that fundraising side of things. Uh, ladies, like Ann said, we need your help too. Uh, baking, the car wash, ticket sales. 
uh, volunteer. Uh, Mrs. Badowski has sign-up sheets for you. I don't bake. Oh. So what do you want? I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a shot at being in the father-son's game. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just not possible. Why? Well, it just isn't, all right? No, it's not all right. My son doesn't have a father, and I want to play. I mean, I know I'm new to this town and everything, but I just don't get you people. I mean, geez, especially you women. This is the best you can do? A bake sale? Oh, what's wrong with the bake sale? Don't you remember, like, fighting for equal rights? Equal rights? Equal rights the Don't let these men push dark. you around. <laughs> I want to roll in the dirt. I want to have some fun. I want to play football. Oh, come on, sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Steamer. Seaver. Mrs. Seaver. Uh, we'd love to have you play. But let's be practical. It's too dangerous. Look at Mr. Evans here. Put pads and a helmet on him. What happens if he accidentally falls on you? Not a pretty picture, is it? No. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, you are absolutely right. Let's lose the dads. And what about a mother-son's game? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Car trouble. Mrs. Heaver. Well, I would like to continue our discussion about the mothers and sons football game. There is no game. Well, in that case, do the words sexual discrimination suit mean anything to you? Wait a minute. How do we go from a football game to a sex suit? I'm sure Mrs. Seaver didn't mean. Can I interject said. here? I think that I understand Nancy better than anyone else in the room. Single, alone. I know what it's like to stand on the sidelines of life. And even though we can't play, Nancy, we can still cheer the others on. Well, I don't want to cheer. And I don't want to be patronized. I just want to play football. And if you have a problem with that, well, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to give up. Howard. Howard. Yeah? Your boy's VP. Tell her how the boys will react. They'll hate it at first, and then they'll love the idea of creaming their moms. Great. Just great, Peterman. And maybe you'd like to coach them there about your speed. Would you give us a minute, Mrs. Seaver? Perhaps Mr. Peterman can show you our trophy case. Well, I suppose I should thank you for standing up for me. You don't have to. Yeah, you're damn right, especially since I know you weren't trying to help me. I wasn't? You were just trying to get at Coach Cox. Maybe a little. Maybe a lot. Lady, I take it whenever I can get it. <laughs> no! No, no, no! She's only asking to play against her son. You can still have the varsity father-son's game. It's humiliating. It, it, it's un-American. Look, you have nothing to worry about. In order to pull this off, she's going to have to recruit enough mothers to play. And you can take it from me, there are not nine mothers in this town who will do this. You think they'll go for it? Not a chance. Mrs. Seaver, you've got two weeks. If you can't get a team of nine organized by then, I never want to hear about this again. Deal. You guys want one of these? They're um, blue Hawaii's. Oh, okay. They're good. It's A. Oh, hi, Joe. Uh, say hello to camera. Hello, hello. Our lovely hostess. Good. Hello. Good stuff. Good. <laughs> Why did Nancy invite her? She didn't. Are you implying I might have let the word get out? <laughs> 
Really? Let's get this over with. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, brushes and cupcakes. Oh, it's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's it's very festive. I love what you're wearing, Sheila. <laughs> it's very Don Ho of you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to organize this mothers and sons football game thing, hey, you know? Hey, don't even think about it. Sheila. I heard you. We all heard you. Probably has hair on his back, too. about this mother's football game? Uh, no. No, really. Don't beat around the bush. I knew there was an ulterior motive to this Trader Vic food fest. Think she'll pull this off? Actually, you know what? I kind of hope she does. What are you talking about? Come on, you remember last year's game? I was so sore afterwards, I had to have the kids tie my shoes for a week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Teriyaki surprise. Surprise? Just eat it. Open your mouth, shove it in, and eat it. Forget it, Mrs. Harris. My mom is a total wimp. Kid calls him like he sees him. Joanne, this is Nancy. Nancy? Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Nice to meet you. Oh, I've been meaning to call you. I work at the aerobic studio down the street from you. Oh, well, how very athletic of you. <laughs> I thought maybe we could have lunch or something. I'm telling you, they're not real. You know, I'm glad you brought up this aerobics thing, see? Because I'm trying to put together this mother's and son's Nancy, thing. Nancy! Darling, you're running a little low on the remaki. Oh, and how very thoughtful of you to point that out to me, Anne. Mmm, mmm, really different tasting. What gives us that unusual flavor? Prunes. Sheila, you will be singing the school fight song at the annual father-son football game, won't you? Uh, no, I had not really planned Oh, you on... must, with your voice. Besides, you know, it just wouldn't be a father-son game without you. If there is a father-son game. Oh, there will be. <laughs> oh, excuse me. about your basic damage, Seaver. Your mom's totally weird. Your mom isn't? I know what you're doing, Han. I don't know what you mean. Right. Well, hey, you like to be helpful, don't you? Not that I want to take you away from all of your socializing or anything, but could you do me a really big favor? I've got a couple of pineapples sitting out in the kitchen. Could you cut them up and put them on this plate here? Oh, you're such an angel. Thank you very much. Nancy, thank you. Yeah, thank party. you for coming. Yeah, I got some great shots. Fred, I want you to make me a coffee. I'll come over and play them for you. <laughs> I'll get you one. All right, come on, let's go. Dooley's in the car. Come on. Bye, ladies. Oh, Bye. Lori, dearest, I noticed that you have not signed up for the bake sale. Remember, nothing says loving like something from the oven. Call me. Toodles. Bye. I don't believe it. She actually thinks I'm going to be inspired by a quote from the Pillsbury Doughboy. Do you know my son thinks I'm a wimp? My husband won't let me do anything. Aren't we tired of being pushed around? I want to roll in the dirt. I want to have some fun. I want to kick some butt. Is this like a sexual problem? No. I am not a wimp. We want to play football. Are you serious? Well, what have we got to lose? Our kids and husbands don't respect us. Well, that's true. And besides, we all hate baking.
to coordinate is an ox. I know, me too. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to show these little kids. Nancy, hi! Hi. 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 Look, if anyone sings the Rocky theme, I'm out of here. <laughs> Hey boys. Oh, okay. Keep going. I'll be I'll be back. Okay. You think it's funny? Uh yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Mr. I was a football hero. How about putting some of your expertise where your mouth is? You're asking for my help? I am flattered. Of course, I'd still be the coach, you know. Mm. But you can help with the strategy. You mean like how to pass and how to catch and how to tackle? Uh, exactly. I'll think about it. It'd be fun, you know. Out there on the gridiron, running those plays. I said I'd think about it. <sighs> Thinking's good. I can accept thinking. He's going to ruin it. As his mom comes to town, he's going to blow it for all of us. Am I in your way, Seaver? You got a problem, Badowski? Me? Nah. I was just explaining to him what macho meant. Macho. As in manly. As in Seaver's mom. Excuse me? I bet she likes chewing tobacco and tractor pulls. Go for it, Julie. Okay. Should you do something? Stay out of this. Break it up! Break it up! Yeah, not break it up. You ever hit anyone before? Hurts, don't it? Oh, great. Badowski must have said something pretty awful to make it go that wild. Yeah, something. Something about your mom? Lucky guess. I'm also guessing that right now you wish the earth would open up and swallow her whole. Keep that on there. You and Coach Cox don't get along, huh? Nancy told me how he broke her leg. Coach Cox and I aren't the issue, and neither is Badowski. Let's get back to the part about your mom. It's like she's becoming this different person. I mean, she's always been a little cranked, but ever since we moved here, it's... It's like this mother-son's football game. I mean, she never would have done that before. Why can't she just leave things alone? Just don't make her come get me, all right? I have to, Tim. What, is that part of the vice principal code of honor? Give her a chance. Please. You won't let it happen again? At least not this year? I swear. <laughs> all right, get out of here. So, it's over 2,400 square feet, and the very best part about the whole house is the backyard here. I mean, talk about low maintenance. Can I go back there? Sure, have a party. What are the neighbors like? Oh, they couldn't be nicer. Much worse than spot. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there, it feels good. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, oh Nancy! Hi! hi. Howard was just showing me how to get rid of my headaches. Well, I can't wait to see what you do for hemorrhoids. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, listen, oh, oh I gotta get you. home. Um, 
I'll see you. Uh, your messages are on the desk, Nancy. Bye. Tim got in a fight at the game. A fight? He's fine. What was it about? I don't know. Well, why didn't you call me? Because he asked me not to. Well, you still should have. I mean, isn't that part of the vice principal's code of honor? <laughs> That's what he said. Look, Tim is having a little trouble adjusting, and I think that the mom's son's football game is like setting him up as a target. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. You got your PhD in child psychology. Right, like it's hard to figure out that your mom playing football is embarrassing. Well, it wouldn't be if we weren't so bad. I mean, if we could get some help, if, if you'd help coach. Whoa, I know where this is going. Well, if you don't want to do it for us, then you should do it for yourself. Think of the satisfaction you'd get by beating Jimmy Cox. By totally seeing him humiliated in front of all those people, you know, losing to a bunch of women, losing to you. You can almost taste it, can't you, Howard? Revenge is sweet, I'm telling you. It's very, very sweet. Right You're such a pig. You're such a brat. Potatoes, please. Potatoes. Here we go. Please, that's an even trick. So, Joe, what'd you get on that uh, history test the other day? You know, the one you had on Monday? The day after Sunday? Yeah. I got an A. A B? A D. Next time, try harder, OK? OK. Pass the corn, please. Thank you. You're so lucky. Two hands now. Come on. I just don't get it. I mean, why do you like hanging here? I don't know. I guess I like you. All of you. How many bathrooms at your house? These places are all the same. Okay, so three bathrooms and only two people. Want to trade families? Believe me, you wouldn't want to. Oh, yeah, because if you lived here, I mean, you're like a brother. Too bad, too. We couldn't become friends. We had potential. Oh. Oh. Faith, honey. Paper towels. <laughs> Paper towels coming right up. Yeah. And Bobby, they were kissing in class. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Hey, next time keep your head up. That big cat on the right there almost juked you. <laughs> Is this like a thing with you? How do you know where I live and where I work? Privileges of membership. School records. Or invasion of privacy. I burn. I do not chop. Hey, how's Tim doing? He's not speaking to me. Not that it's any of your business. Boy, you act like that and I'll change my mind again. About what? About helping you out. Like you said, revenge is sweet. I knew I couldn't be wrong about you. We're like two peas in Podsville. Want to run that by me again? Yeah, we're alike, you and me. Troublemakers. You actually thought something nice about me? Must be my smile. Women are really into smiles and I got a pretty damn good one. No coffee stains or nothing, just a little overbite. Chicks dig that. Well, you know, if I was shopping for a horse, teeth might really be an issue, but I just want you to show us how to throw a ball. She says as she stares at my dimples. Can we get down to it? Hey, anytime. I'm talking about playing. So am I. Football, would you stop it? <laughs> OK, all right. Well, you got about a week to put a team together before Mrs. Marsh's deadline. And then there's the game itself. No, I don't have a week. We have a week. Remember, we're in this together. Right up to your dimples. <laughs> Give me some coffee.
So how are we going to recruit these women? Well, if you're going hunting, you got to go where the prey is. You mean we have to find a place where these athletic type moms hang out? Mm -hmm, exactly. Feel the bird. Feel the bird. Feel the bird. Feel the bird. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And elbows up. And squeeze the beach ball. Squeeze the beach ball. Squeeze the beach ball. Squeeze the beach ball. Squeeze. 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 Visualize that you are firm. Visualize that you are firm. Visualize. Visualize. Firm, firm, firm. Visualize that you are firm. Okay, now I want you to try to tackle me. Now, if you can't, don't worry about it. Just try to keep your hands on me and hold on to me. Don't let me run by you. Ready? Okay. We need a quarterback. Yeah, by tomorrow. Listen, I gotta go pick up Tim. Do you think they'd mind if we knocked off early? Hey, you guys mind if we knock off early tonight? Yeah! I think they'd handle it. Can I get right home? Yeah. Hey, Nancy, how? Come on, everybody's here. Put the chocolate home. Tim, come on, we're gonna go home. Mom, we need more bread. Coming right up. Okay, Sally. Yeah. 
I'm run really far out and head for the library. Oh, okay. Sheila, you run to where it says 20 on the ground and then stop. Hut one, hut two. They're all right. They haven't done anything yet. Well, they're here, aren't they? Hey, Seaver, is that your mom up there? The one in charge? Yeah. That's my mom. Offensive, defensive tackle. Mine's a tight end. Too bad we're gonna kill him. Hut one! Hut two! <laughs> Get your butts over here! <laughs> All right, I've decided to take over coaching you runs for this mother's son's thing. But coach, what about the varsity team? Priority, son. Some things are just more important. All right, let's do it again! All right. All right, line up. Let's go. Hi. Right. I know it's late, but I forgot to give you your playbook. Oh, thanks. Right. Well. Night. Hey, good practice today. Well, uh, yeah. Nice. The earrings, I mean. My husband gave it to me. Her husband? Yeah, you know, the dead one, Eric. We never talk about him. Well, it's not that easy, you know? It's like talking about this whole other life. I wasn't always a town subversive. I wasn't always a single parent. Hell, I couldn't even find the mayonnaise in the market. I had to ask every single time. <laughs> well, look, it's not your problem. Man, I was hoping you were going to say that. You are such a sensitive guy, aren't you? What I meant was, I think you're blown away out of proportion. Don't be so hard on yourself and on everybody else. Yeah, thanks. Well, I guess I'll figure out my life someday, huh? Maybe you already have. That was late. I should go in. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. the sun's now. Oh, you heard right. <laughs> That's your playbook? Yeah. <laughs> it's mine. You know what they say, Jimbo. Size doesn't matter. It's what you do with it that counts. Uh. All right, ladies, let's get up now. The work out some blocking. Let's start off with the offensive line now. Line up. Go ahead and line up. Let's run a play. Let's see how you do. Ready? Get closer. Got it? Okay, there you go. Okay, hot one, hot two. Okay, that's it. All right, come on. Okay, Nancy, come here. Listen, that's real good. But there's a couple things we've got to do a little bit different. I'm going to be you this play, all right? You did a good job. I want you to watch me. Okay. Now listen, each of us has a man across from us, right? Right. Keep that man out away from the quarterback. All right. One man. Keep her out there, no matter what. Okay. Try and play. Watch me now. Gross. You really want to know? No! Yeah. 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 
So, Nance, what do you think of Howard? Oh, oh what, what do I think of him, or what do I want the whole town to know? <laughs> Excuse me, guys, but I am not a gossip. Oh, oh, no, 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 but what about, no. like, a big blabbermouth? Yeah, maybe a busybody. Or a chatterbox? <laughs> I forgot Yenta. <laughs> They don't move. I, I mean, they, they move, but they don't jiggle. Well, they sort of jiggle, but it's like a unijiggle. Was I right or was I right? <laughs> <laughs> Does this make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, it's a Statue of Liberty play. Oh, of course. You know what these are, right? Hugs and kisses? Oh, I know. It's the offensive and defensive alignments. Right. So your quarterback drops back like he's gonna... She's gonna make a pass. You know, your birthday's coming up next week. I thought you wanted to talk about this play. What should we do? <sighs> ignore it? I was in labor for 47 hours. This is not a day I ignore. You owe me. Besides, remember how your dad used to be on birthdays? Can we not do this, please? Well, I just thought we'd do something special. You know, you could invite anybody you want. Joe, Betsy, for example. I don't want anything. OK, so no parades and no fireworks. It'll just be me and you. I know I'll make you some tuna casserole. No. Some rumaki. No. You know, I love you, honey. I know. All right, ladies, when I call off your names, you come up and I'll give you your jerseys. Yeah. And after that, Mr. Brooks will get you the rest of your gear. Foster, 72. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Anderson, 75. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Milken. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. Here are the cops you wanted. Oh, why didn't you give them to the client? Oh, you're the agent. You could be. Oh, I couldn't. Uh, Harry would want me to be out of the oh, house. Forget about him. We're talking about you now and your life. Uh, I'm afraid. What? A failing. I mean, what would people think if I don't do well? Who cares? You've got to get over that. You know, you can't go living your life based on what other people think. Yeah, there's always going to be people who like you and people who don't. I mean, you just have to be yourself and take it from there. It's over there. Oh, All right, see you later, Nancy. Are you I sure like this? This is the right yeah, looks Hello? Oh, hi, Marianne. Where are you? No. No, you're right. Chicken pox is much more serious when you're an adult. You just feel better, OK? Bye. You heard. 
I happen to be standing there. Right. So, football game's off. Well, you don't have to rub it in. Well, Nancy, can't you get someone to take Marianne's place? You know I have already asked every mom in this town. Every mom? I beg your pardon, you have not asked me. Of course, no one ever asked me to do anything, ever. I mean, not a cup of coffee, not a party, not a, a, a lunch. And all I do is work. Work, 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 work. And what do I get in return? Zero. Zilch. Nada. I just want people to like me. Why don't they like me? Well, could it be that you've got a tendency to overdo everything? I mean, look at you. You're in charge of everything. The PTA, Girl Scouts, the Maryland Quail Fan Club. Well, you're lucky. Your husband died. Oh, gee, I knew I was looking at this whole thing the wrong way. I don't mean it like that. My husband walked out on me. Do you know how many hours I filled up wondering what I did wrong? I wasn't sexy enough. I wasn't funny enough. I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't enough. It's funny, isn't it? I've been trying so hard to get everyone to accept me. I made everyone hate me. Well, nobody hates you, Ann. You, you just kind of wear us all out. Well, maybe it's time you put some of that energy to some good use. Tell they're supposed to fit. Yeah, actually, it seems long, but it's not. It's perfect. Uh, ladies, 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 excuse me, Ann Howard. Okay, I've got good news and bad news. First, the bad news. Um, Mary Ann has the chicken pox. Oh, oh, are you no. serious? That means we don't have a team. No, see, you're always jumping to the wrong conclusions. The good news is, I got us a replacement. to cook, don't you? Hey, I like to eat. Yeah, but Chinese is really hard. Not once you get the hang of it. Why? Well, all the chopping takes about... How come you're not married? Go ahead, ask me something personal. Hey, you're blushing. Go sit out there. Oh, so now it all makes sense. What does? Why you never got married, and why you became vice principal instead of principal, and why you let Coach Cox push you around. Hey, I like being vice principal. That accident sure changed your life, didn't it? No, it didn't. No, just, just your life and your whole future. It wasn't that big a deal. How do you know? Well, I guess I don't. I'm sorry. It's just that I've heard that I could have been a contender talk my whole adult life. And you want to know a secret? I wasn't that good. What about the scouts and the scholarship? Pipe dreams. That injury got me off the hook. With my family, with my school, with this whole damn town. I didn't let anyone down. I didn't disappoint anyone. I broke my leg. End of story. No more hero. I got to just be a guy. I'm a very good vice principal. Yeah. So now that you know my deepest, darkest secrets, maybe you'll go out with me sometime. Out? You mean like a date? Because, I mean, if it's like a date, date kind of thing, oh, man, I really, I don't think so. But then if it's just like a friends, get together, no pressure kind of thing, well, you know, that, that I, I think that's okay. Fine. Hey, and if it makes you feel any better, you can pay. Okay. No, wait. Hey, thanks for the ride. Uh, can we go back to that part about where I pay? Good night, Nance. Good night. Hot one, hot two. Whoa, go, go, go! Okay, okay. Ah. 
your mom plays better than you do. Ha ha. All right, good job, good job. Better than you know, Coach, they're not that bad. Maybe you'd like to play with them, Dooley. Hot one, hot two. Woo! Take a look. Oh, but before you do, listen, trust me. You are gonna need this. You can have right home. Sure. I can't believe it. Hey Tim. That's I know. Yeah. Uh that's are you going home? That usually happens after school. <laughs> right. Right, that makes sense. Glad I could help out. Um, see, I was wondering, since we live so close to each other, I thought maybe I could sort of walk you home or walk home with you or we could walk together. I like that. You would? I like it a lot. Wanna go? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Let's go. Come on, Tim, you come home with me. No. No, I want you to come here. Who do you think you are to treat me like this? Oh, you don't want to talk. Fine, because I've got stuff to say anyway. Number one, I don't want you eating at the Dooley's anymore. This is your home. You get the picture? And I don't want you to ignore me like I'm some kind of leper or something. I am your mother. And it is not a take it or leave it proposition. You owe me some respect. And finally, if you ever pull the kind of crap that you pulled over there again I got it already. Now lay off. No, I'm not going to pretend like everything's back to normal again because it isn't. And it hasn't been ever since your dad died. Oh, I'm not going to talk about this. You need to talk about it. No, we don't. You have to. I can't. Why? Because it hurts. All right. It hurts too much. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Don't you think I know? Don't you think I feel everything that you're feeling? 
One day, the man I've lived with for 15 years leaves for work, and the next thing I know, some drunk driver makes a wrong turn, and I'm at the hospital collecting his watch and his ring and his wallet in some plastic bag. It'll never be the same. We're not the same. I can't be mom and dad. And you can't go over to the Dooleys hoping they'll adopt you. I know. I love you, Mom. I know you do. I love you, too. Nancy? <laughs> can we still do something for my birthday? Yeah, well, I thought of a few things. But what do you want to do? I am dying for some Mexican food. Ever since we left LA. And there's that little place right outside of town. Let's go. Okay, hold on a minute. I gotta go get my purse. I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, let's talk about some penalties. Nance up. Get it, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. First of all, clipping. Clipping is blocking from behind. You can't do that. Second of all, offsides. Offsides is crossing the line of scrimmage before the ball is hiked. You can't do that either. Now my personal favorite, holding. You try to run by me. Okay. Okay. That's holding. Okay, you better quit before you get to illegal use of the hands. <laughs> okay. And now for a little defense, stripping the ball. Sometimes when you tackle someone, you don't just want to tackle them, you want to get the ball loose, cause a fumble. Give me that ball. Okay. Let's do this in slow motion. You come at me, okay. slow motion, I'll strip the ball. Watch me. Uh, uh, okay. She comes at me, I hit her low, as I take her down, strip her ball. A very effective move. You going out? With Betsy. Like on a date? Maybe. You? Howard? Maybe. Tim? Hey, Tim, do you want to ride? No. Too geeky? No. No, you look just like... You look very handsome. You look okay, too. Yeah. You mean for some of my size? No, I don't. Short and beautiful, like the perfect day. That's what Dad always said. Well, he meant big and difficult. You know, your dad never cared about, like, my size or what I said or who I ticked off. In fact, I think he loved me because of those things. And you know that I really loved him, too, right? Is this some weird way of working up a mom's son talk about Howard? No. Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, even if it's not Howard, you know, it could be some guy. And I just want to make sure that you're OK about all this. Well, what do you think your dad would think about this game on Saturday? <laughs> Same as always, mom's doing a Lucy Ricardo. He never said that. Sure he did, all the time. Yeah, come on, I don't believe it. Lucy? He was Lucy. Now, are you sure that you're okay about Mr. Peterman, I mean, Howard, you know, and me, and the Nance, whole... Nance, I heard what you said. 
Lighten up. It's okay. Wreck him. What happened to dinner? A movie? Bowling? Well, I just want to be ready for Saturday. You're ready. It's not like it's a Super Bowl. I don't want to blow it. You won't. How can I always do all this positive thinking stuff? It's an ugly job, but someone's got to do it. I can think positive. Right. I can! Like? Okay, like... This place. I'm starting to like it here. This town? Your home? Yeah. My home. That sounds cool, doesn't it? My home. My town. Your town. You know, um, Eric, my husband, he was really a great guy. I really loved him. Everybody loved him. And what could be better than being Mrs. Great Guy? But this... I did this. I moved here. I made new friends. I'm raising my son, and hell, I even got a job. Uh, nobody told me how to do it. I did it all by myself. Me. 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 Pretty gutsy. You're damn straight it was gutsy. I mean, I miss Eric and everything, but I never would have had the guts to do anything like this before. Probably not. No, but you know what I'm finding out, though. What? Well, it's just like you solve one problem and then another one comes along. There's really never any end to it. And then there's really never any time either. But you know what the beauty of it is? At least now, when I make a mistake, I know that it is mine. You're on a roll. You're happening. You're the queen bee, head honcho, big cheese, top dog. <laughs> You got it all figured out, don't you? Yeah. Me, 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 and a little bit more me. <laughs> That's all you need. That's all I need, too. Well, did anybody ever tell you that you do have a really cute smile? It's the overbite, right? Yeah. Chicks dig that. <laughs> Damn kids. So now I suppose the whole town knows, right? Well, actually, uh, I haven't said a word to anyone. You haven't? Hey, it's nobody else's business, right? Right. <laughs> okay, ladies, huddle up. Look, the game's gonna start in a couple minutes. Oh, goody, our first pep talk. <laughs> now, I know you worked hard and you deserve to win, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. You still got to go out for pizza and beer afterwards anyway. <laughs> and anyhow, winning is not important. It's always the game. No. It's believing in yourself that counts. Yeah, that's true. Right. So let's go out and have some fun. Yeah. And now I think your coach might have a few words of inspiration. Yay! Come on. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I do have one announcement. Right now, as of this moment, I'm quitting as coach. What? Because... Uh, you know, you've been calling 
my shots all along anyway, so this just kind of makes it official. But forget that crap he said about winning's not important. Now let's get out there and show them that we're a bunch of tough mothers! <laughs> getting kind of sick. No, Cam Jr. She was supposed to sing. What am I supposed to do? Just, just she has never seen a boy with an earring. It's not we just need a, a volunteer. Me sing the national anthem? I don't think so. set for the kickoff now. The uh, the moms are kicking off to the sons. And oh, look, kicking off is none other than my lovely and talented wife, Faith Dooley. Faith, honey, wave to the camera. Hi. All right, all right, she's busy. We'll get her later. All right, the ball is picked up by 33. Derek Lemos, oh, he's got daylight. The, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's going to go all the way, folks. Touchdown! Touchdown, Suns! And they take a quick lead, 6 to nothing.
George drawing you off of this count. Don't move until you see the ball leave the ground. Okay. And you're hitting me too high. Get low. Okay. Thank you. Ready, set. Popcorn machine left her in the mud hole, and Nancy is down on the field. <laughs> you okay? How'd you get so fast? I got me some motivation. No, oh, from Coach Cox? No, from you. Whatever I said, I lied. Oh, no good. Just off to the left. All right, that makes it 13 to nothing, Suns. <laughs> Come on, cookies, brownies, get over here. Now, remember what we worked in the last two weeks? The basics. Don't let it run the quarter, and if it's a pass, get your hands up in the air. Now, you can do that, right? 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 right. Let's go, then. Come on. don't have a prayer. Do you want me to tell Dad how you broke the CD player? No. Then shut up. I do. While you stand there, you get the ball, and then you run. Right. Stand there, get the ball, run. Run, play! Run, play! Team Spirit, I love it. Yeah, right. 
We are not, I repeat, not going to lose to a bunch of mothers. Do you hear me? Come on, coach. It's just a game. It is not. It's about honor. Our honor. See, women can be smart. They can play tennis. They can be president of the whole U.S. of A. But they cannot play football. Do I make myself clear? Come on, you guys. Do you have any idea what these boys are going to be like for the whole rest of the year if they beat us here today? Uh, we got to do it. Maybe the coach has got a point. Do you have any idea what it'll be like living with them if they win? Nancy's right, you know. I mean, we owe it to ourselves to win. Hell, we owe it to Nancy. She's the one who's done all this, who's made us believe that we could do it. So are we going to let her down? No. no. Are we? Yeah. No. Nancy. 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 Let's get them. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Dad's watching? On the 50. I bet he's proud. Both of us. have really done themselves proud. But basically, they're just running on fumes at this point. Again, the score is 16-13. Yeah, it looks like this will be the last play of the game. Come on, Wait a minute. 
a fumble. And the Mobs have recovered. Go timeout. Go timeout. Time. All right. All right. Great job. What do we do? Defense. 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 Okay, here's the play. Should we let them tie? We could lay down on our backs and die and they still wouldn't make that kick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, ready? Ready! Statue of Liberty play. The whole Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty play. thinking about it for days. Here? Right here. You're crazy. And that's why you like me.